How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kickin' Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today, we're talking cream cheese. I know, but unless you live under a rock, you know that cream cheese has been kind of a trend going on, smoked cream cheese that is. So basically people are seasoning this and smoking it and then using it for crackers or dips or anything of that matter on their bagels, which I can understand how that might be pretty good if you want a little smoky flavor on there. One thing I can see this being good for is making like stuffed jalapeno poppers if you want to pre-smoke your cream cheese, but I've seen enough of it. It's on like every Facebook group I'm in. It's all over TikTok. I've even started seeing some YouTube videos on it. So I figured, what the hell, I'm gonna try it out, let you guys know what I think of it and whether or not it's a waste of your time. So this is just regular old cream cheese I got from the store. We're gonna be seasoning up with a little bit of Tailgaters Barbecue Party Rub for a savory cream cheese. And we're gonna be using Suckle Buster Sugar Daddy for a sweet cream cheese. And I haven't done this yet, so we're gonna see how it goes. A lot of people are saying to smoke it at 250 degrees for two hours. So that's what we're gonna do. Whether or not I'm gonna have cream cheese melted all over my smoker outside, we have yet to see. But I'm just gonna be using the pellet grill and running at 250 and doing exactly how the directions say. So let's bring in and show you how we're gonna prep this cream cheese. All right guys, so to prep up our cream cheese, I guess I'm just gonna do some little cross hatches because I've seen people doing that to make it like look pretty or whatever, which seems a little bit excessive, but you know, we're doing this for the people. So go ahead and get our nice little cross hatches. And I think on this one, go a little bit bigger. All right, so we have our cross hatches there and then all I see people doing is just seasoning this. So we're gonna go ahead with our party rub. We'll get a little on there and on the sides, under. Make sure you get your sides. You wanna build a nice bark on this cream cheese. All right, so that's that one. And then for this one, we're gonna do a little bit sweeter of a rub just to see if this might be good on a bagel in the morning. This is just sugar daddy. It's a nice sweet rub. So we'll go ahead and hit this one with a little bit and get our sides. And I haven't decided if we're cooking this to 200 degrees internally or medium rare yet, what we're gonna do. I've never smoked cream cheese before, but I'm not gonna knock it till I try it, at least too much anyways. So there's our perfectly seasoned up cream cheese. Oh, missed a little bit on the edge there. So looks good. We'll uh, see how it turns out. I'm gonna get this out onto the Z grills. I have it set for 250 degrees. I'm gonna get it out there and we're just gonna let it do its thing for two hours and see if it melts all over my smoker. So we'll meet you guys outside. All right guys, so you can see we have the cream cheese on the Z grills. We're running at 250 degrees. We're just gonna set a timer and let this go for two hours and see what happens. I do have this on the cooler side of my cooker just to make sure it doesn't get overheated over the fire pot. So I don't think I'm gonna be spritzing or anything. We're just gonna go ahead and let that rub set up. So we will check back in two hours and I'll let you guys know what kind of mess we have. All right guys, so it has been an hour and a half and you can see Cream cheese is actually looking pretty good and it hasn't melted all over my cooker. I didn't quite go the two full hours just because it's starting to get dark out and I want to be able to finish this video, but it's definitely soft. It kind of feels like a cheesecake, but it actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to get these inside and let them cool down a little bit and we'll do a little taste test and see how they are. So I'll meet you guys in the house. All right guys, so you can see we have our cream cheese here, smoked cream cheese, seasoned cream cheese, and I've got to admit it actually looks pretty good. And I know this is just kind of a quick fun video today. I just had to do something that was a little fun for me and take a little break from all the seriousness. I've been catering every weekend, cooking comps every weekend, and still trying to do one YouTube video a week. So just wanted to have a little fun with this one, but I actually was curious to see how this turned out. And it actually smells really good. I got some good uh, odors coming off from the seasoning and the pellets out there. Those were cooking pellets longhorn blend but I'm actually pretty excited to try this this is actually like a cheesecake consistency so first one I'm gonna try is the party rub and go ahead and get some of that on there and actually really soft and definitely still hot you can see it steaming so let's give it a try okay so that is actually really good I'm pleasantly surprised with this it's almost like a dip so I'm gonna go ahead and Give it another shot here, got a little seasoning on there. Really good. 
really smoky. The seasoning adds a really nice bit of flavor to it. I'm curious to see how this is gonna be in the fridge overnight when that smoke has a little bit more time to permeate the cream cheese. And it's obviously gonna be uh, firmer and maybe spread it on a bagel and see how it is. But let's go ahead and try the sugar daddy one and just see how the sweet one is. Let's go ahead and put a little on there. It's really nice how that spreads on there and still hot, so let's give it a shot. Okay, yeah, so wow, that is actually really good. I think I like the Sugar Daddy one hot right now because it has a little bit of sweetness to it, but I'm guessing that the Tailgaters Barbecue Party Rub is gonna be really good on a bagel in the morning. Kinda has those savory notes like everything bagel seasoning does, but both are really, really delicious. I really like them both, and honestly, I'm really surprised at how this turned out. I, like I said, I've seen it on social media. I'm like, there's no way this works. Somebody just wants me to melt cream cheese all over my cooker, but it actually worked and it is pretty delicious. And now I'm kind of thinking about other ways I can use this in other recipes. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, stay safe, and we will see you next time.